Between his five marriages, Jean-Claude Van Damme has three kids, Christopher, Bianca, and Nicholas. Bearing their dad's real last name, the siblings have mostly followed in his footsteps, each launching Hollywood careers to varying degrees of success. This is the untold truth of JCVD's kids. Jean-Claude Van Damme and his fourth wife, Darcy LaPierre, had a difficult relationship, to say the least. LaPierre filed for divorce three times over the course of their marriage, and when their son was born in 1995, Van Damme reportedly questioned if Nicholas was his child. LaPierre called it quits for real in 1997, and LaPierre claimed that she was too afraid to be with her husband on account of his alleged physical and mental abuse, as well as his addiction to cocaine. As a result, Van Damme seemingly lost all access to his young son. Without revealing the specifics of the custody arrangement, the action star told The Sun in 2009, "...the custody case is very painful. The legal system in California is crazy. For me, not to see my kid is a disaster." Clearly, Nicholas Van Varenberg — Van Dam is a stage name — suffered the effects of his parents' messy divorce, but it wasn't all for nothing, as he became the inspiration his dad needed to turn his life around. JCVD's career hit rock bottom and he retracted from the spotlight, but a eventually found the motivation for a comeback thanks to Nicholas. As he also told the son, "...the only way I can bring my son back is to be successful again," as they were saying to him, "...your father is a loser." Since then, JCVD has appeared in over 20 films. "...and I'm going to kick that son of a bison's ass so hard that the next bison wannabe is gonna feel it." Nicholas Van Varenberg is the only one of Jean-Claude Van Damme's kids who hasn't had much luck following in his famous parents' Hollywood footsteps. Nicholas tried to emulate his father and become an actor, but unfortunately things didn't really work out for him. Van Damme's youngest child should have been set up for success, but as of 2020, he only had one acting credit to his name for the son of Van Damme's character in Kickboxer Retaliation, an action flick that only earned $4,537 at the U.S. box office and just over $97,000 internationally. The movie was released in early 2018, and by that summer, JCVD's production company Rodan Entertainment was teasing an in-development project starring Nicholas and his siblings Bianca Van Varenberg and Christopher Van Varenberg. The action western Three Coyotes has yet to come to fruition, and while there's no official word on the status of the project, Nicholas was embroiled in the middle of a headline-making court case during this upstart period of his acting career, which likely hurt his chances of landing future roles. In September 2017, Nicholas Van Varenberg made headlines for allegedly holding up his roommate at knife point. After a two-hour standoff with the police, Van Varenberg was arrested and, according to TMZ, booked for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, unlawful imprisonment, marijuana possession, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Van Varenberg eventually agreed to a plea deal in order to receive a lesser punishment of 18 months probation. In October 2018, he pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct, and the remaining charges were all dismissed. Still, it's not all bad for Nicholas. Since then, the younger Van Damme has found some success as a visual artist under the name Vlad Van Damme. Jean-Claude Van Damme and Darcy LaPierre divorced in 1997, so when in 2012 he decided to open up about an extramarital affair he had during their marriage, the confession raised eyebrows, especially LaPierre's. It was 15 years since they had split, and yet Van Damme seemed to be thinking about her because he admitted to cheating on a pregnant LaPierre with Kylie Minogue on the set of 1994's Street Fighter. Perhaps not unjustly, LaPierre instantly accused him of seeking attention. She told Fox News, I was I was shocked he would talk to the press about this all these years later to gain some notoriety. I didn't know about it. I have had my feelings hurt, and I feel betrayed." LaPierre noted she was more worried about the impact the news would have on Nicholas. "...there is a lot of water under the bridge between us, but the fact is, I was pregnant with our son at the time. He's almost 17 now, and I wouldn't want him finding out all of this and being hurt by it, too." Do not mess with Gladys Portuguese. Christopher and Bianca Van Varenberg's mother, who married Jean-Claude Van Damme not once but twice, is a beast in her own right. In fact, she was one of the most popular professional female bodybuilders of the 80s. Her nickname? The Tigress. While taking part in the prestigious Miss Olympia competition, Portuguese landed in the top 10 twice, ranking 7th in 1984 and 8th in 1985. She also became the face of personal fitness when she penned two successful workouts outbooks, 1986's Hard Bodies and 1988's Hard Bodies Express Workout.
Christopher Van Varenberg seems to have fared a bit better in the acting department than his younger brother. His first uncredited gig came in 1992's Universal Soldier, in which he played a young version of his father's character. Apparently, trying to show off his diverse talent on the big screen, Christopher was cast in a mix of genres — the comedy Welcome to the Jungle, the thriller Enemies Closer, and the action movie Universal Soldier Day of Reckoning. Unfortunately, it seems Christopher might need his dad's help in the business. Despite his IMDb profile featuring 15 acting credits, nearly all of them have also starred his father. Considering the fact that Bianca Van Varenberg is the daughter of Jean-Claude Van Damme and Gladys Portuguese, you might think that she was born with an unfaltering love of bodybuilding and martial arts. However, that couldn't be farther from the truth. In fact, when she was growing up, Bianca hated the idea of martial arts. Speaking with Page Six, she revealed, "...my parents let us do our own thing. When I was young, my mom pushed me into martial arts for self-discipline. I was seven and, like, I can't stand it. I stuck with ballet and ice skating." As a teen, she was all about speed skating and even hoped to compete in the Olympics until an injury forced her out of the sport. She recalled, "...my whole life was skating. Then all of a sudden, I needed to find something new." That something new ended up being martial arts. But she's doing things her own way. She explained, "...I want to show little girls and little boys that you can be physical and feminine, that you can cross your legs at the dinner table and then kick ass in a nice feminine way." As both a martial artist and an actor, she may be following in the family business, but Bianca Van Varenberg is trying her best to carve of her own path. Bianca first appeared on the big screen opposite her dad in 2008's The Shepherd, Border Patrol, but rather than resting on her father's laurels, she approached the gig with a critical eye. She told Page Six, "...I didn't like what I saw on screen when I watched my first film. I realized that if this was what I was going to do, I needed to do it right." So she worked hard to get better. Then she dropped her dad's famous last name. Initially billed as Bianca Van Varenberg, she decided to change her stage name to Bianca Brie. Explaining her decision, she told page six. It's complicated. I always have people coming up and telling me how much they love my dad. It's nice to hear, but it's like, what does that have to do with me? Since 2008, she has appeared in ten films, five of which were her father's. But even as she's trying to make it on her own, Bianca and JCVD's bond is stronger than ever. Our relationship definitely had its ups and downs, but now we're cool. We talk and we hang out, but it's not like I'm calling him being like, hey dad, let's grab a bite and talk about life. We'll go to the gym and kick and stuff. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrity families are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.